So a lot of you guys have asked me, what is the one thing you can do to upgrade your life as quickly as possible? And when I say upgrade, I mean upgrade your financial life, your relationship life, your love life, your fitness life, your career life. And I always say that there is only one thing consistently across the board that will make the biggest difference forever in your life if you do this regularly. Now in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to that practice. So I will preface this by saying this is not some easy, light, fluffy video. But I will say when you do this practice, your life will upgrade rapidly. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, one of the things we're going to be talking about here is a very specific journaling exercise I've used and I continue to do. Now, the first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet and an e-course that you're going to get via email every three days on how to use journaling to totally reinvent and change your life. So you can check that out right there, the link in the description below. All right, so with this exercise, you're going to be writing down a few things. So you're going to write down one, I feel that, two, I wish that, three, I believe that, and four, but I know. So let me explain what you're going to write with all of these. With I feel that, you're just going to be writing down, write out what's true which is basically every single emotion that you're feeling. So every emotion, which is probably going to be a negative emotion, right? Everything you know about the situation. So let's say we're dealing with two examples. One, you hate your mom or your dad because they're forcing you into a career you hate. And number two, you got dumped by someone and you have a ton of negative emotions around that person now. So every negative emotion, Two is, I wish that, write out what you know. And then three, I believe that, write out the story you're telling yourself, which is huge because the story is often a lie, but I know, and this is how you'll improve. Okay, so let's say we're dealing with the situation of one, my mom forced me to go to medical school. Okay. So this is the first situation and it's bringing up constant arguments. Let's just go with a stereotype. Let's say you've got a typical tiger mom. They're forcing you into medical school. You hate it. It's not what you love. You're miserable. You're arguing, you're screaming with them. So let's go with the first thing, A, B, C, D. So A may be, I feel that my mom is such an idiot, okay? I feel that my parents are stupid and don't listen to me. I feel that I don't want to be a doctor. I feel that I'm so depressed, okay? B, I wish that. So remember, part A is just honesty. What do you feel? What's pissing you off? Deal with the emotion. Bring it up. B, I wish that they would listen to me. I wish that they would tell me why they want this, besides just having a successful child who's miserable. Okay? Write out your what you, you're saying what you know. Okay? C is, I believe that, which is the story you're telling yourself. And you may have to dig deep for this, but here's what may come up. I believe that... I don't have a choice. I have to do this. I believe that I can't push back. I believe that I can't say no. These are all beliefs. These are not true. But this is what millions of, of children do every year and they just obey their parents' requests. And then D. D is always how you will evolve and overcome the challenge. But I know. But I know that it's ultimately my choice. And obviously, write all these out. I'm just doing this to save time. It's ultimately my choice. But I know, if I have a serious conversation with them, they'll be forced to at least hear my opinion. So, <clears throat> after this exercise, you're left with, 
What's frustrating you? All these negative emotions. What you wish would happen. What you wish. Like, if you could have your way, what you wish would come true. But I believe that. This is the story. This is the story. And then last, but I know how you're going to conquer and overachieve and uh, overcome this. So let's go to the second example. You got dumped by your ex, and it was someone you really loved. Okay? So, A is, I feel that. You write out every emotion. Kelly is such a dumb expletive. Why didn't she tell me this sooner and just strung me along? I really loved her, though. I guess I wasn't good enough. Boom. Those are all the terrible emotions making you feel like crap. I wish that is B. Okay? Write out what you know. I wish she would have been more honest sooner. I wish she would have actually acted like she had a soul and wasn't a heartless demon from hell. I wish she should, she would not have been such a liar. I wish she would have been more faithful. And then, I believe that. And remember, this is the story. Usually a lie you're telling yourself. I guess I'm not good enough. I guess I wasn't attractive enough. And I guess I wasn't successful enough for her. I guess I don't have a good personality. I guess I need to lose weight. I guess I need to gain weight. I guess I'm just too boring. I guess I'm just unattractive and she doesn't like my hair or my nose or my smile. The last part. But I know how you're going to conquer and overcome this. What do you know? Okay. But I know that I'm going to start doing the work on myself. But I know that we may just not have been right for each other. It may have nothing to do with me being attractive, unattractive, or unsuccessful. I know this is a good opportunity to focus on myself and my career, etc., etc. So now the same thing, this situation that was giving you all these negative emotions, right? You've got two of them. My mom forced me to go to med school. It's building up all this negative emotion that's pissing you off. You deal with the emotion. You write down what you know. You write down the story that you're telling yourself. And then you write down the truth about how you're going to improve. And you got dumped. You write down all the negative emotions. You write out what you wish would have happened. You write out, I believe that, the story you're telling yourself. And then you write out after that, but I know, which is how you will improve and how you will grow. All right, so once you've done these exercises, how many times do you do them for and how long? To me, the biggest thing is that you keep doing them until you no longer feel that reactivity. You keep doing them until you have the conversation with your mom or you see your mom and there isn't that same, oh, that same stuff getting turned up. Or you talk to your ex or you date somebody new and those same old triggers are not coming up anymore because you've dealt with them. So keep doing it. And what will happen is often you'll, you'll read it in the morning, you'll read it at night, you'll go through it over and over. It may bring up emotions and then eventually a month in, or three months in, or six months in, you read it, nothing comes up. That's it. And then it's done. It's processed. And what I found is that this has been the most valuable method of emotional healing that I've ever done. It's just by giving yourself that awareness and that it's like this inner dialogue that you keep addressing until it no longer brings stuff up. So I hope that helps. Of course, if you want to go into more things like this, check out the free journaling worksheet. It's the first link in the description there. That'll give you a free download for how to reinvent your life. And you'll also get some emails on how you can use journaling and how I used it to completely reinvent myself and deal with a lot of the stuff that was the barriers holding me back in my life. Once you check that out, check out my last videos right there and right there.